Now, let's discuss what to do when you're trying to mate a part but can't find a mate connection point that works for you. In these situations at Onshape, we create explicit mate connectors to help us define our mate. Let's take a look. The first thing to point out is in many situations, this is not necessary. When you're creating a mate in Onshape, the mate connection points that are created on the fly as you move your cursor over geometry are oftentimes enough for you to mate your part into place. We refer to these automatically generated mate connection points as implicit mate connectors, and they will automatically give you points of interest on the geometry you're hovering over. Combine this with Onshape's ability to flip the primary axis of the mate and reorient the secondary axis of the mate, and more often than not, you can find a combination that works without creating a mate connector. But what do you do in those rare cases where the implicit mate connectors do not give you what you need? You can create a mate connector. We refer to these as explicit mate connectors. In this example, I have a spring that I want to mate to the shock. If I select the fastened mate from the toolbar, then move my cursor over the spring, you can see that the mate connection points that are automatically created in this example are not useful for me. I want a mate connector at the bottom center of the spring, so we need to create one. Before we create a mate connector, there is one important thing to point out. You can create a mate connector in either the part studio or assembly. In our example, I'm using this spring in many different assemblies, so I want to make sure to create the mate connector in the part studio of the spring. That way, if I insert the spring into any other assemblies, the mate connector goes with it. If I create a mate connector in the assembly, it stays in the assembly and does not go wherever the part is inserted. So as I said in our example, we want to create a mate connector in the spring part studio. So I'll right click the spring and choose switch to bumper spring. This will switch to the spring part studio where I can create my mate connector. To create a mate connector, simply click the mate connector command from the toolbar. Then select your mate connection point. In our example, the spring was created using a helix driven by a cylinder. You can see the cylinder if I show it in the parts list. The bottom center of the cylinder is the bottom center of the spring and is exactly where I want to place the mate connector. So I'll left click to place it. A tip is if I wanted a mate connector at the center of the spring, I could use between entities option in the mate connectors dialog and choose both end faces of the cylinder. This would create a mate connector in the middle. But in my case, we want it at the bottom center. One thing to be aware of, in cases where you have multiple parts in your part studio, make sure the owner part is correct. You can see the owner part in this example is set to construction cylinder. We'll clear this out and click the spring. This will ensure the mate connector belongs to the spring and not the construction cylinder. One more thing to mention about defining your mate connector. If the default orientation of the mate connector is not what you want, you can flip the mate connector's primary axis, reorient its secondary axis, and even realign it with a reference on the model or move it all together. So now that we've created our mate connector, let's jump back into the assembly and use it. As the assembly loads, you can see the mate connector at the bottom center of our spring. I'll select the fastened mate, choose the mate connector I created, and the mate connector at the base of the shock, and the two are mated. One final note about creating explicit mate connectors. In this example, there was a cylinder that we could reference to create our mate connector. But if you don't have this, you can use any sketch entity as a reference. So here's the same example, but instead of using a construction cylinder to create the mate connector, we will use the center point of a sketch circle.